Hi, my name is Karen, and currently I'm working on this Making Web Pages interactive course on HTML and JavaScript in Khan Academy. And this is the Cats Dash Challenge, where we're going to use event properties, I assume, just like we learned about in our last video in this series. So let's go ahead and get started. Our directions say we need to position the mustache. This web page puts a mustache image on top of a cat image when the user clicks it but it always lands up at 100 pixels down and 100 pixels from the left. Cool. Change the callback function to use the event properties to position the mustache according to where the user clicks. All right, well, let's see what happens when we click. Cool, okay, so whenever we click on this image, the mustache ends up right here over the cat's eye and I can't move it according to where I put my mouse. So let's change that. Uh, we learned about callback, or excuse me, event properties in our last video. So this is what this line of code right here and this the line of code on 20, 23 right below 22 are both about where the, they're the X and the Y coordinates basically of where this mustache is gonna go. So what we wanna do is change the top one to this events client y, which is information about where the user has clicked. So the client y is the y coordinate of where the user has clicked. So what we're going to do is say e. We want to access the event, and the property we want is the client y. So client y plus, oh, and we don't want x there, we want pixels. So plus pixels. And then for this one, we can get rid of this 100 and just leave pixels and then go E, so the, the event. And then the property we want for the second one is client X. All right, cool. So that worked. Hopper has popped up and said, keep it up. Let's go on to the next step, see what it says. All right, so it says click the cat. Make sure you click around to see how the mustache looks. You might want to add, subtract, a little room from the event properties since the image is being positioned according to its left corner, not center. All right, let's see about this. Let's put it right here. Cool, all right, so nice. The mustache is ending up in different spots, but it's kind of weird. It kind of ends up below my pointer and to the right. So I would like it to show up right under the pointer. So it says you might want to add, subtract a little from the event properties since the image is being positioned according to its left corner, not center. Yeah, that makes sense. So this image has a left corner that's um, essentially, you can't really see it, but it's above and to the left of the actual mustache outline. But I bet if we say, let's put this in parentheses to keep it separated from the pixels. But if we say e, um, the event and the client y um, minus 20 plus pixels. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking 20 away from the, the y coordinate. So it should appear higher, which makes sense when I click. Nice, the mustache should appear higher and more align, in line with the mouse, which it did. So now, as you can see, it's like the top of the mustache is in line with the top of the pointer, which is good. Okay, so let's try and click cool. It's still not, it's still kind of hard to maneuver though because it shows up to the right. So I'm gonna add some, or subtract some from the X, X coordinate as well so that it is also more in line with my pointer and not to the right. So as you can see, um, the mustache shows up way, the middle of the mustache is way to the right of the pointer. So let's say minus 45. All right, well now let's see what happens. Ta-da! Aha! So as you can see now, um, the mustache is almost directly below the pointer, which is awesome. Aha! Nice, all right, so that was much easier to manage and I managed to get the mustache over the cat so it doesn't look super weird, although it's kind of askew and a little bit hard to position still, 
but I don't know. Ah, there we go. That's much better. Okay, well, that is really cute. I think that's super cute. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video. I hope it helped.